The power of his dream brings you here. His man, Sean Collard. Vilma, what a brilliant place to be. You have taught us how to process trauma correctly. We all deal with trauma. There are six steps that we've provided as a tool for people to deal with their past and present trauma. And trauma being an injury, whether it's physical, mental, or emotionally. What about the future now? I have learned how to deal with it. I've learned how to see it miraculously change. Surely I have a different outlook on trauma now. I will need to put things in place to limit me being traumatized. You've taught me how to identify it, how it's stolen from my life, but there's no ways I want this to continue to happen in my world. Now, there will be traumas that happen that we have no control over, and those will be things like an accident or somebody dying or sudden illness, and that's where we're going to use the six steps. And what were the six steps again? So the T was for identify your trauma. The R for reclaim, take back what has been stolen from you. The A was for acknowledge the trauma's intent, because trauma has an intent. Understand that it can be used to your advantage. Miraculous is see the change in your life and around you and appropriate. Make the outcome of your trauma your own. Brilliant. Future. What do I do for the future to limit me from being traumatized? Well, Sean, what I did is I, in the future, what I do when a trauma or something happens to me now, I stop and immediately pay attention to what is this trauma and what was my past behavior or comforts or things that I put in place to protect my heart that weren't good for me. So I stop and therefore I've put boundaries into my life that I now say no to certain things because I know those are things I do not want in my life. So putting boundaries in your life. Absolutely. Give me an example. One of the boundaries are I do not like when people scream at me because it causes internal trauma. It's like a trigger in my but heart. But it did cause trauma. When uh, you were younger. That's right. And you will not allow it to cause trauma again. Exactly. Because now when it happens, I have a trigger and then I immediately go, so, oh, what is my boundary about this? No, you will not speak to me like that. So now that's a ground zero in your life. Correct. You will not receive shouting. That's right. So your boundary is you no, walk away. I walk away. You walk away. That's right. Now, this is a way of guarding your heart. Yes. Because you've got to guard your heart above all else. So when you are sitting in a situation where people are starting to shout, you go, hey, guys, I've got a dash. I need to do something else, and I'll see you later. Thank you for the moment. Or, guys, if you're going to carry on shouting, I'm going to be leaving. Yes. So in other words, you are stopping the trauma from traumatizing you. That's correct. So we've learned to deal with it in the past and present, but anything that's going to come at us that we can control. So I'm talking about before you even walk out of the door, you have boundaries put in place that whatever situation you face outside, you have a boundary to avoid or to limit yourself from being traumatized. And the same thing also from that then is what I also do, Sean, is that I do not identify with that which has been spoken to me. Because I know the truth, because I can see what the intent was. So I know this has an intent and I will not allow that intent to rule my life. So because my identity is secure, I do not identify with what is being said of me. So I discard it. I throw it out like rubbish because it is not something I will receive. Fantastic. Your recommendation would definitely be then they have to do the way we roll course where you learn to put your ground zeros in your life and secure them with boundaries as to walk away, to say no, to remove yourself, whatever boundaries you put in place in your personal life to prevent trauma from happening. And we know what a trauma is. It's an injury, which is either physical, mental or emotionally. In other words, stop 
in the name of love before you break my heart stop story does continue whatever you do don't you go away the power of his dream brings you here his man sean carlard <laughs>